The Unity Distribution Portal enables you to distribute your games to multiple Android app stores through a single hub and using a single build, allowing you to focus more time on creating your game and making the process of distributing your game much easier. The Unity Distribution Portal, or UDP, currently supports games built for Android devices. It is supported on Unity versions from 5.6.1. However, Unity versions 2018.4 and above are recommended. UDP is free for developers and can be downloaded for use in your project using the Package Manager in Unity. It's also available via the Unity Asset Store. Once the Unity Distribution Portal package is installed into your Unity project, you can access and set it up by choosing Window, Unity Distribution Portal, Settings. To work with UDP, your project will need to be using a Unity Project ID. If your project doesn't already have an ID assigned, you will be prompted to create one. Once you have a designated Unity Project ID, you're ready to set up the UDP client. To get started using the Distribution Portal, you'll need to set your project up in the Unity Distribution Portal console. Head to the console by visiting distribute.dashboard.unity.com and log in with your Unity ID. UDP is free to use for any individual or organization with a Unity account. Once logged in, simply press the Create New Game button to add a new game project to your console. Then fill out the information about your game on the Game Info tab, including any promotional assets you'd like to use on the store page. If you've already got the project set up on the Google Play Store and would like to reuse the information from there, you can choose the Import from Google Play button to copy over the metadata of your game from the Google Play Store into your UDP console project. Simply copy the Google Play Store link into the field and the console will autofill the fields based on the metadata from the Play Store page. Then add any remaining text or assets into your game's profile that are needed. The In-App Purchases section allows you to update the prices of IAPs for your game and set the prices for additional currencies. You can add and manage individual items, or you can import multiple IAPs at once using the Import Catalog button. We can also import IAPs using a CSV file in the Google Play format. Here you can download the template CSV file using the Download Template link. Fill in your IAPs locally and upload the file to add all of your in-app purchases at once. When you're done setting up your project, hit Save. Scroll down to the integration information and copy the client ID. Back in the Unity Editor, in the UDP settings, paste your client ID and continue. Your project is now set up and its ID is linked with the Unity Distribution Portal. We can use the Pull button to get data, such as our in-app purchase entries, from the console. As you can see, the IAP that we entered earlier is now visible inside the editor. We can also create new entries in our settings here. And use the push button to synchronize them with the console. Some implementation work is going to be required in your game code, mainly using UDP methods to manage your in-app purchases. The UDP documentation will guide you through these steps, and you can find a link to it below. When you're done setting up your project and you're ready to deploy your game to stores, build your project in Unity. It's worth keeping in mind that before deploying, you should test the UDP build in the sandbox environment so you can be sure your IAPs work well before committing your game to the stores. When you're done building, upload your APK files in the binary section of the console and create your package description. Notice how changes to our in-app purchases have been synced from the editor. We can manage the currencies of our in-app purchases one at a time, or use the Convert button to automatically set global currency prices on our in-app purchases. We can use the Manage Languages dropdown to add additional language support to the store metadata for our game. Let's add the French, Italian, and German languages by selecting them from the list. We can fill out the copy ourselves for each of our languages we wish to support. Or if we already have a Google Play Store link, we can import the copy directly from the Google Play Store using the same buttons as before and the localized URL. When we're done with our game information and ready to release our game, choose Save 
and then choose Release. We'll need to create some information about this release, so enter a revision tag and some release notes, then choose Release. You'll then be prompted with the app stores available for your release. With UDP, it's completely up to you which stores you want to distribute to. Simply select from the available stores in the list. You'll need to sign up to each store and link it with your UDP account in order to register your game. When you've registered with the stores you'd like to use, you can also choose the countries you'd like to deploy your game to on each store. When you're happy with your store setup, choose the Repack Game and Submit to Store option from the dropdown and choose Publish. Repacking takes your UDP build and clones it for each store you're submitting to. It will remove the sandbox component of the package and replace it automatically with the store-specific component. This allows you to submit your game to a store without needing to include a number of unnecessary SDKs. The Unity distribution portal automatically creates a new build each time and only packages it with its required SDKs for the store you're submitting it to. After repacking, you may then be presented with a pre-submission dialog to help with any issues or changes that need to be made for successful submission to a store. Once any changes have been made and your submission is ready, you'll be prompted to continue. You'll then be taken to the status page as UDP begins repacking and submitting your game. Congratulations, your game should now be submitted to multiple stores. To see how your game has been performing on all of your stores, you can use the Reporting tab in the console. You can use the dropdown to filter the report across all stores or an individual storefront. This page gives you information such as monthly active users, retention rate, installs, gross revenue, and more. The Partner Stores tab shows an overview of all the stores available to submit to, with more coming soon. To learn more about each of the stores you can distribute with through UDP, choose the Read More link. As you can see, the Unity distribution portal makes it fast and easy to distribute your game across multiple stores simultaneously. For more information on the Unity distribution portal and how you can leverage it for your project, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.